Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am talking about summer fashion trends for 2024. It is not summer yet, I know, but we like to plan ahead. Personally, I consider it summer starting like end of May, even though it doesn't technically start well into June, but you know, that's where it heats up and that's when I'm starting to think about summer. So I'm going to start planning ahead. I like to look at trends just to get ideas. It does not mean that I'm necessarily going to wear the trends, but I skimmed through multiple different articles and these are the trends that stood out to me as either things I would want to wear or things that I found interesting to talk about. So if you're new, I hope you'll subscribe for more and let's get into it. Okay, the first trend I'm thrilled about and that is denim on denim. Now, the only caveat to this is that when it's really, really hot, like denim can be pretty warm, but I do have a few pieces that are a bit thinner. I have a shirt that like looks like denim, but it's not necessarily denim. It's a lot thinner material. And so I really want to wear that. I also do have a denim dress that is also a bit on the thinner side, but this is something you would have to be careful with if it is very, very warm because like denim denim can be very very warm when it's really hot out like i don't want to wear jeans i really don't so for me i think that denim on denim might even be probably better for spring but i still want to wear it into the summer i just have to be careful with it that i'm not like you know totally overheating okay the next trend is probably i mean i'd probably call this a classic a lot of these are probably, you know, pretty standards for summer, but Bermuda shorts. I don't have any Bermuda shorts and I've never bought Bermuda shorts. They look really good on other people. My concern is that I have very short legs for my height. I am 5'7", but my legs are very short and I have a long torso. And I worry that Bermuda shorts would make my legs look shorter. So I don't know, maybe I'll look into this. Maybe I'll try some on. I don't know. I think they just look so good on other people. I want to jump on the Bermuda short because I also don't really like super short shorts. I don't like the way that I look. Like I feel like my thighs are kind of like an area that I may be kind of self-conscious about. So in a way, Bermuda shorts would be great for that because I'm definitely not going to wear like the ridiculously short shorts, but I think I'm kind of in somewhere in the middle. Tailored shorts is what I have found that I like in general. I just feel like shorts in general don't look great on me, but I now have two pairs of tailored shorts. They're like a very mid-length. They're not really short, but they're definitely not Bermuda shorts that I think look flattering on me and that probably is going to be the most flattering on my body type. But then again, I've never tried on Bermuda shorts. So I don't know. Maybe I'll jump on that trend. Let me know what you think. If you have shorter legs, is that something that has worked for you? If you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear it. Okay, speaking of shorts, another trend is a suit with shorts. And I wouldn't like go out and buy a suit but I could easily pair my tailored shorts with a blazer in a similar color. And I think I would really, really like this. I really do. I have the tailored shorts I have. I have a pair that are black and then another pair that are beige. And I've got a black blazer and I've got a beige blazer. So I could easily wear them together and get this look. Personally, I, I really like this one. I think it looks really, really nice. And it's kind of like casual summer but office inspired, but obviously I would never wear shorts to work, but it's, it's a fun trend. This would be nice for like a night out and yeah, I like it. The next trend is probably more of a summer classic, but I wanted to talk about it because I love it. And that is nautical theme. Absolutely total classic. And I love it. So we are talking white Navy cream. We are talking stripes. Amazing. I love stripes. I have a few different striped t-shirts. Something that I don't have that I've considered is like a Breton style top. Those tend to be more longer sleeves. And I feel like, well, in the summer, am I really going to want to wear long sleeves when it's really hot out? So probably not. I do have 
a navy blazer that I love that is perfect for this trend. It has gold buttons. It's so nautical. I love it. Um, I'm sure I've worn it in maybe one of my styling videos. It's really, really old. I've had it forever, but it's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. And nautical, I am, I'm all for this. This is definitely, I would say, the trend that I am most excited for. The next trend, um, I'll go ahead and tell you I wouldn't wear, but I wanted to talk about it because I thought it was interesting, and that is puddle pants. I had not even heard this term before, but basically it's pants that are too long for you, and they like totally cover your feet. I admit, I think these look cool in like a high fashion setting. Like, you know, if you're on a runway, you know, if this is like a Vogue cover shoot or whatever, which, you know, I'm not a model, so that obviously is not my life. But I can appreciate this for what it is. I actually think it looks really cool in a high fashion setting. But I think for me and probably most of us, if we wore this, people would just think that we bought pants that were too long for us and that we should probably take them to the tailor. So I'm not going to jump on this trend. I also think having shorter legs, again, I think that this would also make my legs look really short because it'd be like, wow, her legs are so short, her pants are way too long. <laughs> so I wouldn't wear this, but I, I truly appreciate this in a high fashion sense. Another trend I am thrilled for is athletic prep. And one of my last Pinterest videos that I did, I definitely had a lot of these athletic prep outfits in there. And I'm so excited because I have two tennis skirts. Love wearing a tennis skirt in the summer, just like out and about. I don't even play tennis, although I've wanted to play tennis. Um, I've never been good at tennis, but that's kind of something my husband and I were talking about, like trying to play tennis this summer. So then I can actually wear my tennis skirts on a tennis court. I also have a tennis dress that I showed in that Pinterest video that is so cute. And I love this. I love the athletic prep look. I think it's adorable and it's also really comfortable. And my favorite thing about tennis skirts and tennis dresses is that they have the built-in shorts so then my thighs don't rub together because that is so painful. I've had that in the summer where I'm like walking around a lot and wearing a skirt and then my thighs rub together and it hurts. It really hurts. So the tennis skirt eliminates that problem, which is awesome. Granted, you could also just like wear biker shorts under skirts, but you know, that's an option too. Okay, the next trend is a color trend and that is sky blue. And I love sky blue. It's so pretty. My sweatshirt today is kind of sky blue. It leans a bit more teal, but I, I think to me, I think this looks fairly sky blue. A lighter blue in general. I love a light blue. I have one top that I really, really love, and I recently bought a light blue blazer at Target, and I love it. I have a light blue handbag, and this is just a beautiful color. It's so beautiful. Probably might be one of my favorite colors in general. I do like, I don't usually like a true blue, but I like sky blue and I love navy blue. But yeah, ooh, also combining sky blue with navy and then you're combining two trends in one. I love it. So I think this color is gorgeous and I'm, I'm really looking forward to wearing it. Okay, the last two trends are shoe trends. First up, slim sneakers over the more chunky sneakers. And we've been seeing Adidas Gazelles, Adidas Sambas, like pretty much straight for the last year and a half, two years, people are wearing them a lot. But you know what? That type of shoe is really versatile. I do find a slim sneaker to just be a lot more versatile than a chunkier one. Because personally, I love the way a slim sneaker looks with skirts, shorts, and dresses. I feel like a chunky sneaker just looks a lot better with pants particularly more of a wide leg pants. So I just don't think chunky sneakers are as versatile, even though I love them and they're so comfortable and I have several pairs, but I just don't find that I wear them as often. I just don't think that they go with as many different silhouettes. Right, last up is the Mary Jane. And I think this is really cute. I have a pair that I bought on Amazon and I love them. They are adorable. 
And personally, I like the Mary Jane more than the ballet flat. I just think it looks better on me. And also I mentioned in another video, I don't wear ballet flats anymore because I have found that they are very, very uncomfortable. Also because my right foot is slightly bigger than my left foot. So every time I wore ballet flats, either it was too loose in my left foot or too tight in the right foot. And so I've never really found a pair of ballet flats that fit me well. Whereas the Mary Jane, because of that strap, it compensates for my left foot being a little bit smaller. So that's just a me problem, obviously. But in general, I, I prefer the way Mary Janes look. I think that they're a bit more classic. I don't know. I think ballet flats also were so popular when I was like in college. I'm sick of ballet flats, to be honest. I mean, not when I was in college, it was more after that. Like the first few years I was out of college. That's when like ballet flats and skinny jeans were like what people wore on an everyday basis. And I think I have that in my head. Obviously, I would not be wearing skinny jeans with ballet flats. I just don't think it looks that great together. I mean, obviously, people should wear what they like. Personally, I prefer if I'm going to be wearing ballet flats or Mary Janes to just do like a wider jean, which is what I prefer now anyway. I just feel like it fits my body shape better anyway. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the Mary Janes. And really, I think that all of these are really, really fun trends. My favorites, definitely nautical, athletic prep, and sky blue. Those are the most I'm excited for. But let us know what you think. And yeah, it's still May. But to me, end of May is summer. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.